When connecting a web-based application to QuickBooks Desktop, it's necessary to install their web connector. This video will walk you through the process of installing QuickBooks web connector to VendorSync for the very first time. Please note, it's only necessary to install one web connector per computer that you will be connecting to. All future company files will actually just be linked using the same web connector. But let's go through the process of setting up the very first one. After creating your accounting firm, you'll find yourself on a screen looking just like this. To install the web connector, you're going to download the web connector file. You'll notice it will populate with the name of your firm as well. And with QuickBooks Desktop already open, go ahead and click on the, on the web connector. This will generate a series of pop-ups for you to authorize access to the web connector to the web connector itself. So say okay. The next one, on the second pop-up, you're going to have a group of choices. You're going to choose yes whenever this QuickBooks company file is open, and then click continue. This will generate the last pop-up, which is just a access confirmation. Go ahead and click done at this time. Once that is done you'll find that the QuickBooks web connector is going to open up, it's going to display, and you'll notice the password is blank. To fill this password in, we're going to go back to VendorSync, we're going to assign a computer name or device for future reference, and then we're going to show the new password that we'll be able to copy into that field. So back into VendorSync, we'll call this primary desktop, call it whatever you would like, of course and then show new password. Click the copy button, then pull back up the web connector. You can click into the password field, control V to paste, and then you can hit tab to base pull up the save menu. Once that's been saved, back under vendor sync, click on done. And then the last step that's necessary is to link the company file. So we'll choose link company file. Again, ensure your company desktop file is already open. We will click OK. And I find it helpful to pull up the web connector to watch this at the same time. The default is for the web connector to run every minute. You can make that longer, but you cannot make it any shorter. So from time to time, when you first click the sync, it may require a bit of waiting until it starts to activate. So by pulling this up, you'll be able to see when the action actually starts. Please keep in mind, depending on the size of your company file, the number of vendors and the number of accounts in your chart of accounts, it may take longer for the entire sync to process. So now that things have started, you'll see the information popping up, goes through, now you'll go close and it will automatically pull up into this new screen. It's suggested to immediately verify the information that you're seeing, the company file info with the number of vendors and the number of accounts. The best way to do that is to go back to QuickBooks Desktop, open it up, hit F2, and on the pop-up screen you'll see number of vendors, 64, number of accounts, 111. 64, and 111. You will also notice that all of your bank accounts and credit card accounts have been populated on the left hand side menu bar. Your vendor list, you'll see a complete list of your vendors and a complete list of your chart of accounts. Once you've gone through this whole process, you verify the information is there, you are now set up, ready to go, and to begin your process with VendorSync.